But um, but yes, yeah, as, as far as the Mike David stuff too, it, it's again, and I, I've said this before, and Jim's heard me say it before, but like, it, it, it's it really is like, if, if you ever want to see an experiment in like internet communities, um, like look at like the Red Bar people. Um, or to a lesser extent, even like the, the pot awful people there there's, well, and I, and I guess cause Jesse's like weird and really does take like his internet lore seriously. Um, but when it comes to like Mike David, like he's a great example of like, he doesn't actually give a shit. <laughs> like he doesn't actually care. It's the same way with me. Like I might go off on people and yell cause it's what I've always done. I've always been funnier from yelling at somebody. Um, so if somebody like tries to go to response out of me, I might give them what they want and yell at them. But like, I've said this before, when I get off the show and I shut the mics off, I don't think about any of this shit. I'm playing video games. I'm watching TV shows. I'm jerking off. I'm fucking smoking some weed. I'm doing all those things that somebody suffering from arrested development does. Um, but I, I think when you see like a fandom that begins to take things like bizarrely seriously, like, like on a level where you almost kind of go like, that's your take. you you know, way too much about this, right? Like, you know, way too much about the lore of, of they, he said this. And like Jim just pointed out, he said, you're finished, which made me laugh because like Mike David said, I'm finished like 50 times. He's, He's literally said about Joe Rogan like 20,000 times. Oh, he's finished. He's done. He's absolutely finished. And the thing is, like, there's a chunk of his audience that that do the bit, for lack of a better term. They're doing the bit. But every community has a few Spurgs that, like, really take it legitimately seriously. And those people need to be studied. They need to be put in a lab and studied because they never understood how few people um, understand how, like, not seriously people take this. Like, it's not, like, this is a for-profit thing. So it's people goofing on each other for money. But it's C Sharpie saying he says that about everyone. He literally says that about everyone. And it's funny when he says it about, like, a Joe Rogan type. Oh, this is it. He's done. He's finished. (laughs) Like, he's not finished but then there's always a few people that are like you're fucking done dude and i'm like is it like you know of course and uh, let me see right my let me see he wants me to email him a selfie so he can run but that's see that's the bit evil ian that's the bit um so of course you know i find it funny um but yeah i absolutely kept the money because he's jewish like that's that's the only thing i will say is unironic not meant to be humorous at all or anything. I I need to I need to to know that I died a man who took money from a Jew. You know, like that literally just took money from a Jew. That that doesn't like very few of our people have actually accomplished this feat. You know, if I still lived in the old country, uh, they would build a statue dedicated to me in Dublin or Cork, and they'd go, "This is he's one of the only ones to ever squeeze gold out of a Jew. And they would build a statue in my honor. Um, so, of course. Let me see. Carrie C says, YouTube started... Pu- I don't think YouTube pushed that in your feed. I think that's just the algorithm, because people know similarly similarly viewed things i don't know should we do this should we do one more cart video i don't know i think we'll do that i think we'll do a couple more of these cart videos i actually enjoy these let me do this let's take a quick break uh let me get another smoke in and uh, i'll get another uh, one of these tasty delights one of these tasty liquid treats and we'll keep going tonight what do you say I'll cut into subcultures time. What do you say? Let's cut into their, let's just cut into their fucking, let's cut into their time every night now. But that's it. We're official. We're beefing with subcultures. Somebody let them know. Somebody head on over there. You tell Kyler and Andy Worski we're beefing now. <laughs> tell them I want 12 o'clock now. 
<laughs> See, now the problem is that there's going to be fucking a half a dozen retards are now going to run over there and be like, dude, fucking, dude, Merced, he's going to fucking murder you. Merced, he hates your guts and he's going to kill you. Like, this is always what happens. I love you, Andy, if you're watching this. I love you, buddy. Um, what was that? People said me and Andy were going to we're going to all be dead to each other because he had a pot awful guy on his show. Why would I care? I, I've never, I've, I've never, in my life, I've never actually told anybody else, any internet acquaintance, you're not allowed to have this guy on your show, or else we're not friends. <laughs> that's literally, by the way, if you guys want to know, that's literally how Jesse turned into an absolute fucking spurg and started hating us, was because... We had uh, Dick Masterson on. Somebody said, fix that wine. I'll work on it, Clint. I'm still trying to get used to it here. Um, but that's actually... That's actually what happened with Jesse. He, he spiraled. He spiraled because we had Dick Masterson on for 10 minutes because we were interested in the story of... Wow, did a bank really just like did a bank really just delist you? Like you're not like tell you that they're not gonna offer you merchant services? Like, is that even legal? And we brought him on and he melted down. Melted down. And then people kind of hold me um to the same like standard and they go, Are you gonna be like Jesse and Spurg out now that he's on Worski's show? And I'm like, No, if I was anything like Jesse I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't, you know, like, if I was anything like Jesse, I'd be fucking doing the show for the same fucking 200 people every night. Like, if I was anything, like, I would never want to be anything like that. To ever imply that your internet acquaintance, your fellow streamers owe you some sort of loyalty to your embargo on another streamer um, is some of the gayest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, that's really super gay. And I've got people I don't like. Um, is that Defango weirdo? Remember that guy? Like, Defango and, like, Jesse. There's a few people I don't like. <clears throat> but let's say that, like, um, let's say Husey, who I like. I like Husey. Let's say Husey had an interview with one of these guys that I don't like. What kind of emotional maturity level are you lacking that that would I need to be lacking to go like, oh, are you kidding me? Hey, Husey, did you really have that guy on your show? You know he called me fat once. Like, do you understand how fucking gay that would be? So, yeah, it was just very funny when somebody was like, oh, yeah, dude, you're fucking, you're so fucking, they're so dead. Oh, dude, they're so, dude. He's going to be so mad at, and I was like, I'm going to be mad at Andy. Why would I be mad at Worski? Like, if, if, um, and by the way, let's say this, if the, if the roles were reversed, um, if the roles were reversed, right, and somebody like that Andy Worski didn't like, well, actually, I don't even have to say that because I've had people on that Andy doesn't like, and Andy's never asked me not to. But let's say that I was going to have A.G. Luck and SoCal Chris come on and talk shit about Andy for, for a show, right? Do you understand if Andy reached out to me and said, dude, if, 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 if you have them on, then we're not <laughs> friends. Like, not, And I'm saying he would never do that. But if he did do that, I'd go, what kind of fucking faggot homo are you? Like, are you, you're really going to draw a lot? Like, first of all, step one, nobody fucking tells me what to do. And number two, nobody fucking tells me what to do. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? So, yeah, there were there were people that were like, are you not going to be mad that he's I'm like, why would I be mad? It's fucking Andy show, you know? Um. Somebody said, uh, let me see, speaking, you know, should I be? Oh, by the way, I did, um, AG and SoCal. I did actually, I am the only guy to ever, uh, oh, see, AG Lux said, Andy did bring you up asking about the money he owes me. I know, but I did it because you're my boy. 
But let me tell you this, AG Luck. I'm just being fair, okay? If um if the roles were reversed, if the roles were reversed and it was the other way around, and Andy Worski was claiming you owed him money, and I was on your stream, I would a hundred percent do the same thing. Especially that night I was drunk and I was just being a dick. But like I would I would a hundred percent if the roles were reversed and Worski was like, Yeah, you know AG Luck owes me money, um I, and I was on your show, I'd be going when are you going to pay Andy the money? <laughs> like that's just, it's always the way I've always been a shit stir. That's always been the guy that I am. I'm always going to be the guy. If we're, if we're driving up to somebody's house for a party and my buddy goes, I can't believe we're hanging out at this guy's house, man. That fucking, this guy owes me money. Like I know when we go into the party, I'm immediately going to be like, yo, where's his money? <laughs> Says you owe money. And if you're like, Shh, dude, shut up. I'm like, no, no, no. He said you owed him money in a car. Tell him what you said in the car. Tell him what you said in the car. You said something about he owes you money, this and that. Like, that's just, I'll never not be that guy. I can't help myself. <laughs> it's immediately like, yeah, tell him, what, tell him what you said. But I, I certainly didn't mean that in a way that was shitty towards him. I was just bringing some shit up. I was just bringing up some dirt, that's all. Um, but yeah, if the roles were reversed, I'd have done the same thing to you, AG. It's just... You know, it, it doesn't matter to me if if um, if uh, if if frozen Asian said said Adonis Paul owed him money. Then, yeah, next time I was bantering with Adonis Paul, I'd be like, yo, where's the money? Frozen Asian said, yo, I'm, like, I'm just it's not like I never said like, by the way, I never fought with Andy about it. Uh, I've, I never got I never dug my heels in and went, yeah, you fuck him all that money. Like, I didn't do that. I just was like, what's up? He says you owe money. And he goes, I don't owe money. And I was like, all right, well, fair enough. I was just saying, what you, I'm just telling you what he said. <laughs> you know, like I'm not, I'm not going to press the issue. I'm not somebody's fucking advocate. I'm not your attorney. I just was like, yo, homie said you owed him money. You gonna pay him his money. 